Hi guys, so I'm coming at you with another video in regards to, I guess, weight loss and body dysmorphia. Um, I'm going to explain what that means in just a few minutes. So I was um, doing some research for some art jobs last night and um, I ended up needing to make a portfolio of my work. And going through my pictures, I came across um, some photos of me around this time last year. So I was relatively small at that point. And at first, the initial thought was, dang, I want to look like that again. She is fine. And then it was followed by, I understand why. When I was in treatment, they suggested that we delete these type of photos um, of like anything with us during our eating disorder. <clears throat> But the funny thing is, and this is why I kind of want to make this video, is, you know, a lot of people would give me compliments and I couldn't take it in. Um, when I was in that body, uh, that just happened to be a special day that I got dressed up probably to help myself feel better um, or go somewhere that I really didn't do much. Um, okay. So I'm talking around it. I'm going to get right into it. So when I was in that body, I was extremely dissatisfied my joy was in the future so I had to lose weight I had to get the clients I had to get to a certain place in my relationship um, certain places in my job in order to feel happiness everything was becoming but my present life did not satisfy me um, my present self did not satisfy me I was not enough in any area to me hence to me not receiving compliments on how I looked and not being able to see how I looked for example, in that picture, it was like, cool, you know, I fit these pants, I fit this outfit, I know I look nice, um, but this isn't really the body that I want. I don't even want to be this curvy. Um, <clears throat> I could be more defined, or I want to reduce my hips and my waist. Well, not my waist. My waist was cool, but just getting smaller thighs and smaller hips was kind of my obsession in a six-pack. Um, so, yeah. In that body, I had no idea what I really looked like. Even when I got feedback, I couldn't take the feedback. Um, so, all of this just to say, a lot of women, um, well, I'll speak for myself. I grew up a plus size kid, a plus size girl, a plus size, well, you are one, you're growing up. Um, and so, a part of me wanting to lose weight was because I thought it would boost my self esteem as well as improve my health. Um, but the self esteem boosting part, I thought would make me happy. And I thought that because I was like, okay, guys will pay me attention. Pretty girls will want to be my friend. I'll be more comfortable um, in social situations and being outgoing, and therefore my business will thrive. Plus, I can lead clients by example. And if I want to do something cosmetology-based or fashion-based, no one could poke fun at me for being a big girl. Um, that's what I thought in my head. So I bust my butt and I would lose weight and then gain it back and lose it and gain it back and always try to get smaller than my smallest size. <clears throat> and the truth of the matter is, is that your joy has to come from the inside. It doesn't matter what your body looks like. It doesn't matter who's paying you attention. It doesn't matter who gives you compliments. Um, it doesn't matter who you date and how popular they are, how much money they have or what they give you. It doesn't matter um, what kind of job you have or how much success you accrue. If you don't like you, you won't like you. You'll always have something else to change, something else to improve. Hence to why a lot of weight loss fanatics, as I was, they're obsessed with gain losing weight <clears throat> and then the fear of gaining it back. And so it's always a need to control more. Or in relationships, obsessed with expectations of a partner and changing people and fixing people, um, um, being needed by people to sustain that relationship because you don't understand why someone will really want you for you or love you for you. Um, so yes, weight loss should be done for health reasons. Um, it can improve your mood. It can improve, yes, it will be, make you more attractive to you, maybe. But it can't be the thing that's going to fix you um it can't be the key to your joy your happiness the the thing that will attract your your soulmates um <clears throat> you are that no matter how you look you are that your energy your vibe what you create what you give to this world will attract um your mate and maybe your physical appearance isn't as significant as we think it is in society kind of encourages the thing so be encouraged love you now no matter where you are in your journey whether you're an entrepreneur you're losing weight you're dating your 
are trying to build your career you are enough now you have everything within you to accomplish that which you would like to achieve and so enjoy the journey relax um be blessed like subscribe share follow me on instagram at a journey full of health and take care be blessed